Okay. You can see the screen, right? Yeah. So this is yes. yes. Yeah, this is basically about manual testing. Uh, how you uh, start this manual testing uh, techniques and all that. So today's topic is basically uh, software development process, right? How any product or project uh, will be developed in a software process. Basically, software development refers to basically iterative logical process. Basically, sir, I'm not hearing properly. Hello. The so could you be please loud? Yeah. Okay. So it's a iterative process. So it aims to create program software to meet. I meet unique business or personal objectives. Basically, software development is not like a one-time process. You'll have multiple iterations, right? Uh, before the product or uh, development will be completed. So there is some objectives at the end of the development process. Right? They want to meet some business requirements or uh, personal objectives, goals, or processes, right? This is basically the definition of a software development process. So you just need to understand it. So what are the various uh, stages in software development, right? So this is a software development process cycle. There are different stages in the development process, right? So it will normally start with a requirement analysis, right? So requirement analysis where uh, they write all the business requirements, right? What the system should work, what are the functionality, um, so what are uh, various features on the system, things like that, right? Once they have the requirement, there will be a system analysis. Uh, system analysis, basically how they are going to implement that requirement, right? So whether they are going to use some database, are they going to develop some screens, right? What are the screens they are going to develop, right? They will create a model, model of the software, right? Once they have the model, they're going to start designing, right? Designing in the sense where the data will be stored, like um, say database tables, uh, how the screen should look like, right? Or how the login screen or some functionality screens, uh, those things will be there in the system design, right? Then we have like implementation, right? Implementation is like developers will start writing the code and uh, implement the screens, implement the backend, um, how to store data and how to retrieve data and all that. Uh, then that's uh, implementation and in parallel development will happen, right? So then there will be support part as well. So if the project is going um, live or there is uh, different stages, there will be some support uh, people like admin people uh, where they support like uh, infrastructure, right? So they may need some uh, machines to install software and things like that. So there will be support uh, tasks will be there. Then we have like testing and integration, right? The uh, testing is where we actually test whatever is developed uh, is as per the requirements, right? So, so we come at the last stage in the de development process but th that is where we want to test the application and make sure it is working as per the requirements, right? This is basically one uh, cycle. So for a project or product to complete, so this will be repeated number of times, right? Um, so this cycle will be repeated. It's not like only once this will happen and uh, things will complete, it will be an iterative process, right? There will be multiple phases and the multiple rounds of uh, system design and implementation, development, testing, it will go on. That's why it's like, a, it's a circle, like it's an iterative process, right? So this is the basic uh, modules in any software development uh, process, right? So you have requirements, system analysis, system design, implementation, development, support, and testing. Right. There is various roles, right? So somebody like project manager or business analyst, right? There is a business analyst, they do requirement analysis on that. Like, then we have like project manager who will do system analysis, like there is architecture, right? Uh, um, system architect will do the design part, 
right then implementation development you have developers and um, various database uh, people right then there will be support stuff for infrastructure and all that the testing is where uh, we fit in testing and integration so when you do integration the us actual users also will participate in the integration part right so so our goal is uh, is the testing this is where we fit in but we want to uh, interact with all the different people like we want to talk to business analysts we want to talk to project managers we want to talk to developers about the application and all, all that right so this is the software development process and um, it is basically the software is developed for different purposes right so what are the some of the common uh, purposes is basically one is to meet specific needs of a client or a business right uh, something like a bank right you take a bank so we want to uh, application will be developed for banking uh, requirements right so that is a business requirement and something can be developed for personal use right something like pharmacy owner may require inventory managing and billing software uh, like even for supermarkets there is a checkout process right billing and checkout so it can be uh, for personal use as well small stores or things like that so basic uh, demand for better quality management of uh, software development process is enforced with the discipline of software engineering right there is a different engineering uh, techniques and all in the software process that will be employed to deliver a quality product right so so whenever you like uh, you are working on a software product right, there is some purpose right you are trying to meet some uh, business requirements or some client needs a software so we are developing and uh, delivering that software to the uh, client right this is the basic purpose of any software development right so in software development there are two types of uh, Uh, call it as a projects right a product or a project right product is in the sense something like uh, say microsoft windows right that's is like a product right testing for uh, a product is uh, different than uh, testing for a project right so product has multiple stages right uh, so it has like a um, uh, different uh, number of stages will be more so product has normally more complex uh, functionality than a project right so product has different stages so first product is conceived like they think about how the product should work then it will be developed then it will be introduced and managed in the market then finally once uh, like some of the products they get irritated from the market because uh, sometimes the product is outdated so it will be removed from the market itself right so suppose if you going for multinational companies most of the companies so they do product development right when you do product development they go through these different phases something like that then project is basically is uh, is undertaken to create a unique product or service so this is basically a project is also a product but it's unique to particular client right uh, something like banking application right it can be used only by banking clients but something like uh, windows software anybody can use right so the main purpose is uh, different uh, for product versus project right so so if you go to like consulting companies and all so mostly you are working on projects so but if you have like a multinational companies who are developing products so the those all be products like right? multiple stages for the product right so we'll, we'll see what are the various uh, stages in product development so the same thing will apply to the project only thing is it is developed for a particular client or uh, um uh, based on the particular business right so let's see the product uh, development life cycle um so this is the life cycle of a product right how the product is uh, developed 
from the uh, design like concept uh, concept phase right concept phase means so they have like some idea like how the product should work what are the features they want in the product like um, what are different functionality and things like that so that is a conceptualization right so once they have like some concept or uh, it can be like requirements right then they're going to design an architecture and a design right so architecture is high level um, implementation how the system should be developed like whether it should be developed in windows or it should be developed in unix or what programming language or what is the back end database we need to use right so how the system should be uh, designed in the like what are the various components right so that is the architecture and design phase then we have like a product construction or development so this is the where actual developers uh, will uh, get involved and uh, start building various components and all that right uh, so you are also will be part of this product construction so it's the development and testing will be part of the here product construction right then once you have like a good product uh, that is developed then it gets released into the market product release right then we have like uh, product realization and feature upgrades so once product is released there will be multiple upgrades and changes that will be uh, done on this product so that will go into um, each cycle so again they start uh, designing new concepts right creating new concepts then they do, do the design then development release and uh, realization like it will go on like that this is the product development life cycle so if you even if you take a project so it will have like same cycle uh, from concept architecture development release and then up, upgrades right so let's take one example of a product right so assume like uh, so when paypal came up with a uh, checkout product so there will be different stages um, of a product like something like say if you, if you take like paytm right paytm is kind of a product right so when they come up with uh, the payment processing so they will go through these steps right so paypal is also another uh, payment mechanism uh, for international payments right so first they do a market research why uh, what are the uh, importance of functionality they are going to develop right so they do like a market research then define a primary objective of the new product so which is in reduction in uh, like drop off rate like um, maybe some payment issues and things like that they come up with some objective what is the important feature of this product right then they do a thorough analysis of tech feasibility and uh, adoption right so how like uh, based on the current technology right they going to do a uh, feasibility analysis feasibility analysis means like um, we have these functions like which technology they can use to implement that uh, features right so not all functionality can be implemented there will be some Uh, limitations in the technology so there will be some analysis on the uh, technical side right so these things you just need to understand it like whenever you are in uh, team meetings or things like that uh, they may talk about these uh, different stages right so that way you will be aware of what is happening in the project right so then work with design teams to create a seamless in context experience this is like a design part so once the design is done they, it will be created to delivery teams um, so each running scrum managed by central program so if there is multiple teams in the pro project so there will be um, each team has some um, uh, tasks assigned right so they need to complete certain amount of work uh, for the project to complete right so that will be managed uh, in this uh, program then they will release a mvp in a limited market mvp in the sense minimal minimum viable product right they create some minimum functionality and uh, send it for like uh, alpha testing or beta testing right 
you probably heard about that um, alpha or beta testing. So, so they release it to limited market and then check the performance, right? Then the product is refined based on the feedback before launching it to broader market, right? This is the various um, steps they go through for any product, right? So basically, initially they do some market research, then um, identify what is the main objective of uh, this product, right? Uh, and then uh, do like a technical feasibility, right? Then give it to design teams, then uh, development teams, release to market in a limited, uh, release to uh, market in a limited fashion, like limited number of users, then release it to actual uh, market for everybody. So this is how the product uh, development works. Uh, these are various phases in the product development, right? 